Hey, what's up? It's Shaheen again, and I'm here to talk about negative exponents. And I know everybody's all like, woo, it's negative exponents time! And I'm like, you know it is. So let's talk about what negative exponents mean. So first of all, I have a base, like, I don't know, let's say it's eight. And I should probably use a pen other than my uh, white pen which just writes in white or something. So I have eight, and let's go to the negative exponent of two. Now, what do negative exponents really mean, okay? Well, uh, the idea is that um, it does not make negative numbers. All of these bad boys are positive, okay? If my base is positive, then my number is still positive. What's happening is that it's actually less than one. Okay, it turns into a fraction. So once again, negative exponent does not mean a negative number, all right, not automatically. What it means is that I'm gonna be having a fraction. So I, have, I rewrite this now as one over eight to the second, and that makes my exponent positive. Because what this is telling me when it's a negative exponent is that actually that I have something less than one, okay? It means that I'm moving this, and I like to kind of think about this in this way, and if this doesn't work for you, that's fine, but it pretty much means that this is negative, and well, it pretty much means that everything's moving downstairs. I like to think of it that way, you don't have to think of it that way, all right? And so the idea is that I can finish off this problem, all right? as one over eight to the second, and I think, what is eight to the second? Well, it's one over eight times eight, which means one over 64. That is the idea. So eight to the negative second is not negative 64. No, what eight to the negative second really is, is one over 64. That is the idea of what I'm getting. So let's say I had another example of this, and I'm gonna use a different color. So let's say if I was going with, um, I don't know, let's say, three, let's say three to the, let's go negative uh, third power, okay? So um, being a negative exponent, we just discussed that what this means is it becomes, um, I would rewrite three to the third all under one, if that makes sense. This is now uh, a fraction, it's less than one, okay? We talked about negative exponents tell me that I have a number that's less than one. So here I go. The idea then being, um, I rewrite this as 1 over 3 times 3 times 3, which gives me uh, 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27. So I have 1 over 27. Okay? I don't mean to oversimplify this or do this too fast, but I don't want to bore you either. So let's continue. What if I had, like, I don't know, uh, let's say x to the negative third. I'd rewrite that as 1 over x to the third. That's how that goes. All right? You good for that? Because we just did the same thing here. Uh, down here, all right? So let's say then we have stuff, we have a fraction where we have stuff up top and we have stuff, and when I say up top, let's say I have a fraction starting off. So let's say I have a numerator of like, I don't know, um, let's say x to the negative third over, um, I don't know, uh, we could say five, okay? And that's supposed to be a five. So um, I'd rewrite this then as uh, I get a one up top, okay? Because there's always at least like one part. That's the idea. Um, and now I have x cubed on the bottom, which is multiplying times five. So I pretty much end up with one uh, over five x cubed. That's what I'd end up with, okay? So let's say if I continued this idea and I had something like, I don't know, um, x to the second, y to the negative fourth over, um, I could do something like uh, x and y. Let's say I did that, okay? Now, this is how I would move stuff around. The positive exponent still stays up top, okay? Everybody cool with that? x squared still stays up top, all right? But the y to the negative fourth moves down, okay? So I've got y now to the positive fourth, once it, it becomes positive once I move it to the denominator. But I still have this other x and y, x and y over here. That's these guys, okay? Now, I'm gonna simplify by putting these bad boys together, all right? Um, and are we clear that x squared really means x times x, all right? Now, can I cancel anything out or can I combine anything together? 
Yes, I can. So, check it before you wreck it. So, um, x and x, what would happen to them if you divide them? Er, they cancel each other out, okay? And then what's y to the first power times y to the fourth power? All right, remember in a previous video we talked about it is y uh, to the fifth power because I add the exponent. So I'm at y to the fifth, which is under x. And if you're wondering, how did I get from x squared down to just a single x? The idea is that I had an x on the uh, denominator as well, and those two divided out. And so this is what I would end up with here, okay? Now, what if I made this even crazier, and you're like, crazier? That was already crazy. And I'm like, it wasn't crazy enough. Well, the idea would be, let's say if I had um, 7 to the negative second over, let's say, uh, 2 to the uh, negative fourth. Well, any time that I have a negative exponent, it's flipping if it's going, like if it was up here as a numerator before, it was going down there, which we showed previously. But if I have in my denominator a negative exponent, it, um, I am moving it upstairs. In other words, kind of like it's creating a reciprocal. All right? So this negative uh, 7 to the negative 2 gets rewritten as 7 to the positive 2, because when I flip it to the new spot, it loses the negative exponent. Here I have 2 to the negative fourth, I'd rewrite it as 2 to the fourth, okay? And then I would go ahead and work towards simplifying. 7 squared is going to give me 49, and then here I have 2 to the fourth, which really means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. These give me 4, 4, multiply those together, I get 16. So, I'd end up with 49 over 16, and I can go ahead and I can simplify this, okay? And so I can think how many times does 16 go into 49? And 49, and let's see, that could be, what, 3 to give me 48? And I have 1 16th remaining. So my final answer would be 3 and 1 16th, okay? So that would be my final answer if I began with 2 to the negative 4th over 7 to the negative 2nd. Again, we see that these negative exponents do not mean negative numbers, all right? But we can move into, well, nope, for now that's enough. Have a great day. Peace. Hope this is helpful.